Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We are going to unbox something, an ECG playback device. We've done some stuff with that. Uh, whoa, Chinese. We've done some stuff with uh, ECG in the past, as you've seen, and we're going to do some more. This is a combination ECG plus PPG device, which can get your heart rate through ECG and use ECG plus PPG for determining your blood pressure. It also has breath training in it. You can do an ECG heart rate variability report across a whole spectrum. Well, you're going to see all that stuff. Let's get into it. When we open the box and reveal ooh, the card, the amazing card. You want to try your Google Translate on that? Or would you prefer the English version? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm messing with you. So when you do ECG, electrocardiogram measurements, there's three electrodes you're about to see in this device. There's some information on the test conditions and the suggested test method. You see there's two fingers straddling across the band. Well, what band are we talking about? This one. Well, what is this one? It is the No Name Fitness Tracker ECG PPG Heart Rate Monitor from GearBest. That's right. Check the show notes down below for a buying link to pick this thing up. And inside, you're going to find all of this. And I, I really like, I, I went ahead and I copied all this text information for you because I wanted to point something out that's very rare to find when a company will actually tell you that the blood pressure isn't exactly right yet. They're still working on it, but um, it's not very accurate. You see that? And I got to acknowledge that that's honest. Whenever we're doing blood pressure readings with any of these devices, take it with a grain of salt. There's a disclaimer I put in the bottom of all devices that claim to be doing blood pressure measurement. It appears that the ones that use the ECG in combination with that little green diode, the PPG, tend to have better results. At least you've got the pulse wave that you're going to see. Um, so if you're looking seriously at blood pressure, the best results come when you have an ECG plus PPG, but it's still not up to par with your doctor's reading. So take it with a grain of salt and consult your doctor if necessary. But check this stuff out, interesting information. And then there's the specifications for this particular device. It's an OLED screen and works for male or female. This particular one's a white bracelet. We don't see that very often. And we'll get into the box and check it out. Here we go. We pull this thing out. It's in there with a little rubber protector and it's paper packaging and there it is in a white band so it comes in different different kinds of uh, of bands and by the way they're removable too they'll pop off of this uh, it's already up and on although we haven't tethered it yet but you saw that the screen lit up with that twist to turn to light it up display and we can cycle through all of the different options right here on the band one band is the uh, app that we use to tether this thing. And uh, we're going to take a look at that in a little bit as well. Let's pop that cover off, see what else is in the box. We reveal a charging clasp. And that one is a simple two-prong connector that attaches like so. Okay, and that will give us the juice we need to keep it going. And we've got a little manual in here in Chinese and Chinese. And Chinese. Ah, thank goodness. There's the English version. All right. Um, here's the QR code you're going to want to scan, or you can go to the Google Play Store and download one band. And here are some of the uh, icons that you're going to be seeing and some more instructions about how it works. Pretty nice overall manual to guide us through all of this. There's the menu and then uh, how you do the blood pressure reading and calibration. The more sophisticated devices have the ability to calibrate to your specific situation. 
In other words, if you tend to have high blood pressure, uh, you can calibrate by doing a measurement and set the band to equate to what your normal quote quote is um, with your blood pressure and then look at the readings as deviations from that norm that represents you. The idea is you'll get higher accuracy that rate. Okay, that's everything. The rest is all Chinese on this side. And we'll take a look at the band. Let's move all this out of the way. The time is shown here, right? You tap it once and you're going into heart rate. Now, nothing's going on yet. Probably for this one, I definitely need to put it on in order for it to work. Now, let's check. It looks like there may be some plastic. You want to check yours too. Uh, yep, yeah, that's covering some of the back of it. Not so bad for the diodes, I guess. Good to get it off anyway, but if there is ever anything covering the metal, you obviously need to have that taken off. Okay, now normally I would just go ahead and put this on, which I will set it here and let you see what it looks like uh, with the white band on my arm. But instead of doing this, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go ahead and pop off the bands. They just lift up, and now we have the little module. Remember, in order for this to work properly, these two metal plates need to touch the skin. And uh, I'm licking my finger. I need to uh, get my skin a little moist and the button a little moist. And I'll be able to actually do all of the functions simply by holding it on my wrist or my back of my hand or the tip of my finger, or wherever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and use the normal place we do this just for testing purposes. Now, if I touch this, it's going to kind of make the band jump off and it won't make good contact, which is why the uh, manual was suggesting <clears throat> that what you do is hold two fingers, thumb and finger. Uh, there, I licked my thumb and my finger. Hold the corner, hold here. Get it to where you want. So we're going to try to do a heart rate measurement now. This, it says testing, is using the ECG circuitry only to give you this heart rate or pulse. And uh, it's not using the green diodes because watch, you ready? Whew. See, the diodes aren't on. It's just using the metal plates. That's something different. And as you saw in the description, it said that that tends to be more accurate. Notice it stopped after I pulled it off now. Now it started back up again once it caught that data. So you see, basically, you can use this little module anywhere on your body that you can get a pulse as long as the electrodes are touching. You don't have to worry about that optical sensor. Now, when you really want to use this is when you do it in combination with the app. And we're going to show you the app. Um, I've got an extensive review of the app from a different watch that uses it as well, the um, one band. But before I do that, I wanted to show you because I have this tethered. When you go into the app and you attempt to tether, you're going to connect with the one band 1585. That's the name of this one. So you look for that to get yourself connected. And once you're tethered, follow the instructions that you see right now. One band. When you download it and you install it, get it all set up, you get into the main screen, which when you pull down will update the information. So let's walk through this and tie it together with the band. This is really where the magic happens. I haven't seen one like this before. If you've got a father, a stepfather, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, any uh, anybody in the boomer uh, zone, this is a good time to watch this because I'm very impressed what you can do with respect to heart health in this particular um, band and app combination. One band. Okay, let's take a look. First, we have all these different panels. You can press and hold them and you can rearrange the order if you'd like to. Simple as that. When you tap one of them, it'll go in there. It's going to show you historical information for the day. So our step count is, is shown here and the hour that we walk those steps. All right. And you can go back and forth by numbers of days or show it in week or month mode as well. That was step count. When I get in here, 60, 80, 100... You see it's running about 70. It popped up there. It's over here. Uh, 
This again is uh, the time frame that it's taking it, that the exact minutes, 424, 704 in the morning and so forth. And it's just showing you a chart of what's typically normal or high. That's the heart rate data with again, changing the day, week, month, all of that. And then knowledge talks about this stuff. And this is where this is really a valuable app because it's going through the details of how it does what it does going to let you take a moment to read that and show you the range for normal, for adult, slow movement, strenuous movement, and so forth, and what can affect the ECG and reasons for heart rate increase. It's really a well, uh, well done app. It's a bit Chinese English, but it's pretty good translation. And that's what you get on the Knowledge tab. Under Heart Rate Data, there's the graph, and that's your overall last measurement. So we've got our heart rate and our steps. Now we get down to your blood pressure and your sleep. Let's look at sleep first. Here was last night, deep sleep and light sleep and waking time says basically I went to get to bed or I went to sleep at 2314 boom right into it got up at 614 in the morning for a total of seven hours of sleep broken up this way we can't really do anything with the chart it's just there you have a weekly so you can start tracking how your sleep looks over time in a weekly fashion or in monthly once you get more data in here this is a one day worth of data and the quality of sleep is good. Now, I don't have another tab that tells me knowledge about this, uh, just basically our information on sleep in that tab. And then we get in here into our blood pressure itself. And it's going to give us this notice. It's highly recommended that you rest, okay, for five minutes, two hours before the test. So I'm going to enter and leave that so I can get the reminders in the future. And when I uh, start this with the band, I'll be able to take a measurement. Now, they recommend before you do that, that you do a calibration, which I've done. What I did is I used an arm cuff, put that on, got three readings off of that. They were really close together. So I am 125 over 76. They always have this backwards for some reason in this app. Um, so you have to be careful entering the data that you get it right. Then you can uh, do this whole calibration and it'll run through this whole chart thing the first time and get a baseline comparison of the chart with the values that you put in from your doctor uh, read or uh, uh, medically certified, however you want to say it, reading. Uh, it, it gives you a good solid baseline. Then you can do the measurement. After you do the measurement, it goes into history. And I'll start here to show you that before I even knew about calibration, I ran it a couple of times and see I got 104 over 63, 110 over 66. Then I calibrated it and I got correctly 125 over 75. We'll do another test for you here shortly. And ultimately you get this chart on statistics related to your blood pressure. And again, daily, weekly, monthly, and you can change the days to see what the overall information is. These are manually taken. It's not an automatic thing for blood pressure like it is for heart rate. So I'm calibrated and we're ready to go. Let's do one. I'll show you what I'm talking about. ECG is using the uh, electrode plates and PPG is the diode in the back. And it's going to compute the blood pressure with both of those pieces of data. So I'll set this down. Uh, I lick my finger. <laughs> I'm going to get my arm wet. By the way, wearing the band in this spot is uh, really important. You want to be above that little uh, notch in your bone and you want it pretty solidly tight and it's good to moisten the area and the tip of your finger. Uh, that's me licking. Uh, I'm going to hit start. It's going to start a countdown of four seconds. And now I'm going to press the button and hold it. And you see the uh, timer counting down. And you should see the chart starting to show up on the screen. There we go. 
The upper one has all these little sharp peaks. Those are the uh, electrical pulses in the heart. The bottom one is showing you a kind of looks like almost a sine wave. And that's the uh, PPG data. That's what typically we get our heart rate from. But we're combining together here to get blood pressure in a thing called transit time pulse rate or something like wave, TTPW. Anyway, if you go on to Google and you do uh, scholar.google.com and put in the term ECG plus PPG, you get some really good documents that talk all about how this is done. Okay, 121 over 74 with a heart rate of 68 is what it came back with, with that particular reading. And that should now be in my history file. And there it is. If I tap on it, look at this. It plays it back automatically. Yeah, the whole minute. Played straight through. I can't do much with it. It's just happening. You can pause it. I don't have a scroll bar to scroll it, but you've got your data and you've got the, the heart rate as it's being computed and changing. And it's the playback of the blood pressure charts together. Pretty cool. That works for any of these. Okay, that was this category. So we've covered all of these which are all your major categories. Now I want to take you to the side tab. By the way, this is a uh, send out any of the ones that you check to wherever you want to go, you know, email or Facebook or why not put it on Facebook, huh? You don't need to bother. They've already got it. Um, when you get this tab, you have your demographics. I've set it up with uh, when I was really young at 18 and when I'm really old at 70 and uh, just to kind of see what some of the differences were in the reports that are coming in. This is the last one I set up. Here's where you go in and you can do the blood, uh, the blood pressure again that we just did. Here's that same notice that we got before. And we're back to that same tab that we were on from that master thing. Here though, this is different now. This is where you're actually doing the ECG strip chart and you're getting way more than the strip chart. So read this and we're going to, um, to do the test. When I go to next, everything turns sideways. This is a two minute test. I'll cut a little bit of this out uh, just so we're not boring you, but I'm going to go ahead and set it down and start it. Lick my finger again, just so it's a little moist. Hit the start, tap the button, watch to see if it's going to go. Yep, it's collecting. If it's not properly wet and properly on your arm, it's going to uh, bail out and you're not going to get a reading. And just to show you that this is live and real, I'm going to wiggle it around a little bit and see the uh, perturbation there that's coming through. So you're really getting a live ECG chart. All right, I'll be back in about a minute and a half. Okay, we're about wrapped up. Just a few more seconds to go. It's been a straight chart just like this all the way through for the last minute and a half and we're done. Now, <clears throat> this is where you learn a lot more about Mr. Ticks than either of us wants you to know. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get my analysis. This is an ECG analysis now that will let you know about your conditions in all of these six different abnormal reports. We're all abnormal, just face it. <laughs> you ready for my report? Ah, boom! There you go. I got 66 on my blood pulse, on my pulse rate. And I've got this HRV analysis report. It gives you categories and it gives you numbers and below it gives you a synopsis. Your current physical condition is bad. 
Yeah, please consider these things. Because your sympathetic, parasympathetic nerves are in balance, nervous system is functioning well. That's good news. So each of these are little sentences related to these overall categories. And you could get a good feel for how you're doing overall. And that can be gold for somebody that's elderly, that's dealing with all sorts of medical conditions. It can be Phenomenal for somebody that's relatively young, raising a family, looking ahead to when they're going to be old and need to really worry about this stuff. Heck, it can even be useful for a millennial. If you've had too much beer at the bar, right? Let's go deeper. We go into each of these things and it gives you an, a report synopsis of what it means. This is mental stress, what it's caused by, and it gives you, as you go deeper, all of the levels. It's an index of zero to 100. Where did you fall? I can confirm or cancel that. I fell at 23. So relatively low mental stress. My fatigue index now looks like this. Okay. Confirm that. I'm at 88. So relatively high level of fatigue physical and mental load. Mm -hmm. That's another factor that it's able to derive from your heart wave. Low, okay, normal, high, and then very high. If you're over 75, I'm at 84. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got some work to do. Physical fitness, look at that. If less than 20, you're very poor in your physical. In, in, the mid-range is 40 to 60. That's pretty broad to be considered normal. And you're in really good if you're 80, 60 to 80. And above 80, you're in excellent physical condition. Uh-huh. Well, remember now, I set this up for a 70-year-old guy, and I'm not there yet, but someday I will be, so I better be more physical than I am now. My heart function, thank goodness, is general. These are the categories that you have. And this is odd. Okay, 1.33. I don't know how to understand this sympathetic-parasympathetic balance. Now, Correct me if I'm wrong, you medical folks, but as I understand it, your sympathetic nervous system is the one you have control over, like me moving my fingers, and parasympathetic is the automatic nervous system that happens in the background, more or less like breathing on its own, your heartbeat. You can kind of control some of that stuff. Anyway, these are the values where your parasympathetic or your sympathetic is leading and the other is lagging, where the balance happens right here in the middle. Hmm. Consult experts about what that means, because it's not really covered anywhere else here. But that's the report that you get, your ECG overall report related to these different categories. Or this, yeah, this is the heading for it, and then this is the actual detailed report that you get. Okay, ECG analysis. Well, hit the back button here. That was the test. Here is the previous data that I did. Yeah, now back here when I was 18, I can do this report of ECG, of health, or play back the ECG. I think this was the report of ECG, right? Yeah, here's the report there. Hmm, mental stress was really low. Physical fitness was up at 28. The sympathetic parasympathetic balance was like that. Now this was yesterday. I was in a different condition and I had taken all the defaults for gender, age, sex, all, height, weight, everything. Uh, and, and I got different results. So again, this write-up is gonna be the same and it's just gonna show you your categories. So under 25 was low mental stress. So that particular reading came out like that. Did another one. Um, that was the first day. This is the, did these two the next day. Report of ECG. And I get these kind of numbers. 
So they're dynamic. They're changing with time. They're changing with you. This could be awesome to work in a quasi way with biofeedback to see if you can help relax your mental stress and your fatigue to get in better physical condition and understand your balance between your different nervous systems. All in all, a really awesome overall app with lots of information in your blood pressure, your ECG strip chart report. Here's your heart rate data and the knowledge base. We looked at that already from the other uh, display. Then you get into breath. Not only do you have the measurements that you can take, but you have this method of working in these different processes and approaches to breathing to improve how you breathe and therefore the health of your overall body and physiology. Here's a training record, which I haven't done this before, but you pick a category, I guess, and go into it. Here we go. And... It's just going to have you inhale and exhale. Simple as that. Oh, I think I need to be touching the thing in order to, to do the training as well. And as you're holding it, you're inhaling and exhaling. It's going to take readings and give you information. Um, it's a two and a half minute training. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit the retrain. Uh, look at the icon has changed. And now I begin. Oh my gosh, you gotta really exhale fast. Okay, let's catch the next one. Wow, I'm gonna hyperventilate on this. Hey, I got a good one. All right, I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, we're getting there. I'm getting a guy that's blue now. I, that's me. I'm turning blue. I swear. This is ridiculous. I got to work on my breath. Definitely got to work on my breath. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. Stop already. Do I want to see this? Of course. You always got to have a baseline. Whoa. All righty. I got 36. Uh, excellent, normal, and... Cheer on. I guess normal was blue. Excellence green. That's what's going on. It wasn't that I'm turning blue. It was just normal. Um, here's some descriptions. And that's it. Your mean heart rate is that, I guess. And I was in elementary. And there's no other pages to look at. But that's breath training. And you have these different categories that eventually you can expire to explosion. Yes, that's my goal, to explode. Ah, it's great to be alive. Okay, what else have we got? That was uh, your breath, and this is all your step information. And again, we saw that from the home page. Um, your sleep information, we saw that as well. So all of your categories are here. Some of them are there. Now we get to device. This is where you can take control. You have your display mode, which right now is vertical. Hello, I can switch it to horizontal if you'd like to look at your time that way instead. Makes it a little bit bigger, I guess, uh, and spreads things out, but I'm a little bit more comfortable with the vertical. You have time for 12 or 24 hour. The wrist recognition is where you twist your wrist and it'll light up. And you can go into a night mode and set the times that it won't do that. And that's really great because then it doesn't flash at you at night when you're in bed if you just roll over. You can make a, a take a photograph using the button on here, the selfie kind of thing. Um, you have different alert times that you can set. They call them re resetting alerts. Um, I'm sorry, resting alerts when you need to take a rest. I, anyway, they're just regular alarms. Then you have your sedentary reminder long sit thing that you can specify how frequently you want to be reminded to get up and take a stretch break. <clears throat> I need to do that more often. I'm going for 30 minutes. Um, call remind, SMS remind, your intelligent reminders for all these different things and everything else. Unfortunately, it turns all your notifications on or off 
uh, and you can't manually select different ones, which is really a setback because that would be nice, um, but it's not. Heart rate monitoring, you got your real-time monitoring for those time frames and you can set heart rate alarm now i decided to go ahead and set it so that every time my heart rate is taken i get a notification of it every 10 minutes on the band and it's working really good i just set my low and high to be one digit apart and i'm always going to be low or high um depending right so but you can set it like uh, 70 60 what 50 whatever you want for low 120 130 whatever's right for you but it's only doing it on the 10 minute 60 minute or 30 minute settings it's not doing it uh every minute and monitoring you like in a training mode this is just to tell you if you're chronically high or low you have auto start management so that you can set the whole thing up. It actually goes into your settings and you know you can manage all of that depending on your Android level on your phone. And then you can uh, reset it. The um, equipment upgrade, check that once and do the update probably, but don't go in it again because it activates it to do the update all over again. And it's really a pain to do the update. It doesn't like go smoothly. That's another little pitfall with this. Um, even though there's a red dot there, once you update it once, don't go in there again and you'll be all right. And those are the overall settings for that. And then you tap on your thing, smartwatch ticks, personal information. This is what I've got in here now. Again, you can change all of that, your distance. It's all in metric. Um, and I'll put my real data in later. Wristband measurement. This is the device itself, and this is where you would tether or disconnect it. And that's all it does there. Clear, modify, exit, and about. About tells you the version of one band, which is available from the Google Play Store. Oh, and we also have a firmware update on this one. So when you get it, Make sure you go through um, the firmware update process from the app after you have it tethered. And there we are, 100% complete. Update successful. Rebooting. And we're back. It's at the reset time, and it needs to reconnect to the app. There it's turning on Bluetooth. There it's setting everything. And we should be back at the current time. And we are. Okay, firmware's updated. So you see, the One Band app is really, really sophisticated. You can get a lot of information from that right off of this simple little device with removable bands that you can either wear as a watch or carry in your pocket whatever way works for you. There's a whole variety of colors to choose from. They are unique bands though, so you're gonna wanna choose your color. They're not the standard bands that you can put on it, all right? But um, definitely available for you right now. You can pick this one up called the Fitness Tracker. It's the one band unit apparently because that's the name when you tether it and it's available from GearBest. Check out the show notes down below. We appreciate your subscriptions, your thumbs up and continuing to watch us here at Smartwatch Dicks and we'll see you again real soon.